Good evening. Oh. Good evening, how are you? Oh, sorry guys. A moment. Can you guys hear me? Okay. All right, good, good, good. All right. Hey, how are you guys doing? How are you, David? I'm fine, teacher. I'm trying to connect my computer. I, mm. I, I'm fighting with my computer. <laughs> trying mm. to connect. That's okay. I understand. Sometimes <laughs> computers have a mind of their own. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh. Hello, Francisco. Hello, Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo, can you hear me? Okay, wonderful. Are you at your workplace? Oh, okay, wonderful. Um, will you be able to participate though, or? Um... Okay, okay, okay. All right, great. Thank you. Um, Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. So Ready? far, it's the cool, and I can recover my computer. Oh, yay! Excellent. So far, so good. Okay, very good. Yeah. Um, eh, what What was wrong with it? I don't know. Just show me one message that I have to delete everything. So I have to rest, restart from factory. Really? Yep. Wow. Like from like all of a sudden. Yep. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. But there's no other way to, to save some information, but mm -hmm. I have to do it. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. No yeah. So so did you lose a lot of information? Yeah, I lose a lot of information. Wow. So sorry. I try to recover because uh, most of the time I had, uh, I guess that is, I have what? I have some backup with my email, mm -hmm. with my email address. So I try to recover something. No, oh, okay, okay. Good, good. Yeah, but it wasn't ransomware. A what? Ransomware. Yeah. It was ransomware? Yep. Oh, wow. That's horrible. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It's true. Wow. I'm so sorry that we actually have a, a real life case of ransomware in our class. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's horrible. And yeah. and and um there's really not much you can do, right? Like Yeah. It, that's right. Just you have to restart as a as a factory and then you have to install everything. Wow. And and you can't like um get like the 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 police involved or anything, right? Yeah. Um uh, that's but, really tough. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, true. So sorry to hear that. I really am. Well, at least you got some of your of your documents back. Yeah, I yeah. I hope so. 
Yeah, that's why it's so important to make a backup, right? Yeah. Always, always make a backup. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, it's really good when you make yeah. a backup of yeah. your computer. Because mm -hmm. you can save some uh, important files. Yeah. And you can recover them. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's, uh, that really is tough. But, um, well... What's done is done, right? The important thing is that, you know. Yeah, that's right. You have your computer again. See, yeah. that's right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, hello, Heidi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm ready. Oh wow! I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what happened? Eh, in your house is is it is there a blackout or something like that it's uh, that my baby is not feeling well and i want to be just oh. for him okay okay all right no problem okay yeah no i was just wondering if you had had a blackout or something in your house <laughs> okay. the other day i had one but not today oh okay good good um i heard there was a uh uh, there was a an earthquake in in El Salvador. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. Uh, is everything everything was okay with everybody? Uh, it was not uh too long. Mm. What 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 was it like? Like five point eight, I guess. Five point eight. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's that's uh that's considerable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah uh, but um what did it, what did it feel like was it like um uh, mm -hmm. it's it, it was strong but it was not that long so mm -hmm. okay okay good 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 well i'm glad everybody's okay yeah uh hello Indiana. hello teacher good evening how are you? I'm ready, Jen. Ready for the class. All right. Excellent. I can see that. I can see you are all prepared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How was your Monday? My Monday? Well, kind of busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I had like a, a lot of work to do, to do today. Mm -hmm. And well, in the morning, I didn't feel the time mm -hmm. uh, I I arrived to my office at eight and just after like a blink but like a the um, time to lunch and mm -hmm. the afternoon was the same mm. yeah but very productive day oh. busy but productive yeah excellent excellent yeah Mondays are usually like um a, the most difficult day to get into so I'm glad that you that you um yeah that it was a a, a good Monday yeah. <laughs> great excellent hello Dora hi Dora can you hear me Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah? I'm, yes. Just, just fine. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Okay, okay. How was your Monday? Uh, uh, I was good. It was good? It was, yes. yes okay. no, I don't have a problem. <laughs> okay, okay. Was it a busy day or...? Or was a slow day? A business. A, a busy, busy. A busy, busy. A busy day. A busy day. Okay. You, but you like busy days. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Excellent. And um, hello, William. How are you? Hi. Good evening. I'm a good teacher. Yeah. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, 
And how was how was your Monday? A little busy. Yeah, because it is. Uh, <clears throat> I had to do the payroll today. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's um tomorrow is the last day, right? Of the yeah. month. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, well, hopefully, um, tomorrow will what will it be like? Also, very busy tomorrow. No, tomorrow is the most tomorrow. It's a calmer Easy. day. Okay. Yeah, normal day. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, hello, Anna Claudia. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Uh, here, I'm doing well. Funny because. Uh, today is the last day of the month, as you mentioned before, and I'm still missing to make one sale. So I'm crossing fingers that uh, I send the document to to a customer that he's not uh, signed it up yet. So I'm just uh, calling, calling. <laughs> mm. Like a, 10 minutes ago, I was trying to reach the customer, but... Uh, uh, did he didn't uh, answer? He didn't pick up. But tomorrow, crossing finger that he will see my messages. <laughs> so, so with that, I will be uh, reaching my goal, my revenue goal. So you contact directly uh, customers. Yes. So it's like you like you have a list you have to contact. Oh yes, but this customer is I already sold an equipment uh, last month. So it's already, now it's a customer. And this is the second equipment. No, this is the third equipment he will purchase. So it is, is, uh, is a yes, he must, um, he must uh, sign up because it, it's a sale. It's a, for sure it's a sale. What happened is that I don't know if he would like to wait to start the month and he will sign up until March the 1st. And I want that he sign up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. so that you can reach your goal for tomorrow. Exactly. And, and I'm in negotiations with him. No, oh, you know, it's better to at the end of the month and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I cross your fingers that tomorrow I will have my myself. That, uh -huh. With that, uh -huh, I will be reaching my goal. This uh -huh. month, you know, January, I was so surprised that January was, uh, how can I tell you? There was, uh, it was, there was, there were call, uh, calls and new customers and we sold a lot. But in February it's like, ooh, I don't know what happened. Mm. Mm. Wow. And the thing about February is that it's that the, it's a short month. So it's exactly. even exactly I guess that is what is happening. And, and and remember that February had this uh the President's Day, right? And it was uh, uh a holiday. Oh really? One of these Mondays, yes, last Monday I remember. Oh. I don't remember President's Day, I guess it was. Yeah, President's Day, I guess. Yes, you are right. Yeah, yeah, it was a holiday, right? Yep. So it's one day less. Than the that's, in, that's in the United States or in El Salvador? No, United, in U U.S. In U.S. And remember that I, my sales are for U.S. and Canada. Mm, in February? What did they celebrate in February? Yeah, it was. President? I don't remember exactly. But it was a Monday, right? Was that what it Yep. It wasn't the last Monday. Ah, okay. The twenty. The twentieth. Yep. I I remember I remember when I was uh, when I was uh, working as a, a translator. Um, I would love those those days. <laughs> yeah, long because, weekend. Yeah, well, I I still had to work right because oh. you know and you know in call centers you always work, but um, I would love them because. It was always such a calm day. Like oh, yeah. um, normally, especially Mondays are Mondays and Tuesdays are the worst days 
for health. Like all the, the emergencies, all the doctor's appointments, everything is on Monday and Tuesday. So it's Mondays and Tuesdays are like the worst day. But, uh, you know, holidays are always on Monday. Mm -hmm. So um, I, would, I would love that because it was a break. Um, yeah. It was a break. But you, Tuesday, <laughs> yeah, but then Tuesday would come and it was horrible. Was accumulated everything. The three days. <laughs> and oh, all... horrible, horrible. So, so what happened on Monday was that I would always, uh, I I would always work basically with um, with emergency calls, mm -hmm. and hospitals in hospital um, stays. So like people that were, um, hospitalized, um, yeah. So those were the days I wouldn't. Uh, there was really not very many um, a doctor's appointments. But there were a lot of uh, emergency calls emergency. and um, yeah, and hospitalizations. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right now you are just uh, the uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. No longer you work with any call center. Um, mm -mm. No, just teaching. But you can do it because even though the distance, yeah, well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I could, I could, but um. Uh, for example, well, the thing is that about those jobs is that you, it's something that is like um, full time. Oh know? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And and right now it's I I'm I'm focused on something else, so I can't do oh, okay. full time. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Once you have your incomes to cover your budget, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. we're um we're yeah we're. We're going in a different direction. <laughs> oh, okay, great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, guys. Uh, okay, so I, I want to say hi to everybody, but um, time has already uh, come down to the end. So I need to take attendance before it's too late. So I'm going to ask guys to turn on your cameras there are some people that don't have your cameras on so if you could do that favor for me so i can see you hello guys uh francisco eduardo and uh, jose osmin and harpin I can't see you guys. What's those mean? And how do you I can't see you? Okay, so we're going to start with attendance. Uh, Ana Claudia? Yes, I'm teacher. David? Present, teacher. Dora? Present. Fernando. Present. Ernesto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin. He was in the chat right now. Oh. Okay. Thank you, guys. I wasn't aware of that. Okay. Francisco. Present teacher. Wonderful. Heidi. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Ileana. Present teacher. Wonderful. Harvin. Present teacher. Okay. Oh, you're you're driving. Yes, and right. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you for connecting, though. Um, Jose Marcos. Present. Excellent. Jose Osmin. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jose Wilfredo. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Juan Miguel. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Ramon. Ramon Enrique. 
Okay, and Roberto. Roberto Luis. Eh, Roxana. Roxana Iber. No, Roxana. William Alexander. Present. Thank you. Welcome. And Suleyma Ivonne. And Wendy Patricia. Present. All right, wonderful. And Wilfredo Guardado. Okay, all right, guys. Okay, so uh, we are going to um, start um, our class. Actually, we left off kind of like in the middle of an activity. Um, so we are going to um, continue with that activity. Um, so, can you see this? Yes. Okay. So today is the advanced, um, well, uh, not today, the class is at the, the advanced four. The day today is day 19. Uh, the date is Monday, February 27th, 2023. The facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Oops, sorry. And uh, so this was um, uh, what we had, um, what we were doing last class, right? Six ways cybercrime impacts businesses. Um, and um, we were still working on that, right? You guys were, were still gathering information, right? Or did you guys finish? We finished teacher, but I don't know the others. Okay. Uh, do you guys need more time or do you guys wanna present? Are you ready to present? We are with, with Liliana. You are ready, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. We need uh, more time. You need more time. Yep. Okay. So let's let's um. Okay. Let let me go by group. Uh, increased cost. Uh, hold on. No. Let's do it this way. Okay. So, increased cost. David and Eliana, you are ready, right? Operational. Yes, okay, perfect. Um, let me do it like this. It'll probably ease, be easier if I do it like this. Yeah. All right. Um, operational disruption. Anna Claudia and Francisco, are you ready? Yes, we finished uh, finding all the information. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, altered business practices. Dora and Wendy. Are you ready? Yes, teacher, please. Wonderful. I need yeah. more time. Oh, you need more time. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Okay. All right. A reputational damage. What does mean? What's up, Wilfredo and Juan Miguel? Are you ready? No, it's true. We need more time. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fernando Ernesto, Harvey, and Jose for last revenue. Are you ready? Uh, we need more time. We need more time. Okay, no problem. And stolen intellectual property, Fernando, Marvin, Roxana, and William. Are you ready? Chicos, no están acá. Ahí es Roxana y Fernando. Ajá. Es cierto. Okay, we can we can talk a little more to weigh the others. We can oh, yeah. uh, study in the meeting. The meeting. Okay, uh, William. Rooms, breaking rooms, to talk about the topic. 
a little more. Yeah. Uh, and then wait for the others. Perfect. William, are you re are, are you ready in your group? Or like, did you guys finish? No. 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 Okay. So also, yeah. Okay. So the majority of the group are not ready. Now, how many minutes do you guys need? Five, 10, 15, 20. I think we can give them 10 minutes. <laughs> they don't speak, I speak for them. <laughs> I the voice of without voice. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, could you repeat the question? How many minutes uh, more oh, do you need? Do you ten, need five, I 10, guess that 15, is 20? 10 minutes? Yep. Okay, so Jose is. Uh, is an agreement with you, David, <laughs> for okay. 10 minutes. What about the rest of the groups? Dora, Wendy, how many minutes do you need? 5, 10, 15, 20? 15, maybe, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, Ana Claudia, oh no, you guys are ready. Uh, what about Fernando, Ernesto, Harvey, and Jose? How many minutes do you need? Ten is right. Ten? Okay. All right. William, do you think that you can get everything ready in 10 minutes? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. So let's do 10 minutes. I'm going to stop sharing and put you guys into the groups right now. So just be patient with me while I manually assign you guys groups. I, do, I don't think I have to write down the your, your the name of your group, right? I think you guys know that, right? Yeah, like you guys know what what your your topic is, right? Right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to have to assign them to the groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Heidi, you were not a, you were not in, at the end of the class, right? On Friday. No, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to assign you with, um, together to work with William, and maybe you can help him out as well. Okay, uh, Roxana, you as well, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to assign you to a group. Um, okay, so, oh, actually, I'm going to assign you to one of the groups that are finished so that they can help you out and explain to you and you guys, and you, you can have a part there with them, okay? All right, so I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes. I'm opening the rooms right now.
Uh, I, I try, but uh, let me see. Okay. You remember that the topic is a operational description. Teacher, yeah, eh, eh, I know I don't mm, can't share. And I share the screen. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix that. Give me a moment. Intellectual property theft or IP theft is the appropriation of unique ideas, interventions, or other information by parties without permission to borrow, reuse it. An example of the intellectual property theft is when an individual knowingly copies the logo of a company and uses it on their own items without the consent of the company. Okay, yeah. Be an example. Mm -hmm. Another example may might be when an employee takes the secret food receipt for a company and uses that to create their own food product. Uh -huh. So we have to make a presentation. Mm, yeah, I guess. Can you can you write it down? <laughs> no, because I am using my cell phone. Mm. Well, we can just talk. Violations are punishable by up to five years imprisonment and two thousand five two hundred five fifty thousand criminal copyright infringement is a felony.
Uh, IP, IP theft can lead to serious financial damage, damage to a company. In the long term, it can result in decreased business growth and loss of comp competitive edge. And there are times when organizations aren't even aware that their IP has been stolen. Mm. Uh, even when they do discover it, the theft isn't always made public. Most companies disclose a cyber attack only when this when customers' medical or financial information has been stolen. Ooh. Mm -hmm. An example could be when employees stole secrets from a logistics firm to start his own firm. Ooh. Or maybe when a company IP is stolen by its inventor. I wish. Sorry? How is it that you were saying? Ah, oh, I send you the link. We are ready, teacher. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Um, well, I think it's the time is almost finished. So, yeah, we're right on time. Okay. See you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Plataforma de e-commerce. You, uh, meanwhile, your platform is done, the customer can buy you. So, your products, buy your products, and you are you are losing one in in all time until you maybe recover the your services and get up the server, or meanwhile you migrate the server because the, the old server that was attacked uh, is. Is down. You are trying to recover maybe your information or all, all your database. Are that you is guys, a big loss. Are you guys doing? Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's see you in the new room in a moment then. Ah, uh, dele, dele otro. Uh -huh. Are you girls oh. ready? No, teacher, oh. please, because the the concept is very confused with with us, and uh -huh. right now I try to uh, to understand. Okay, I can only give you about two minutes because everybody else is ready. Okay, okay so teacher. about okay. two more minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Maybe you can uh, browse the. I am no good. I am no good at PowerPoints. I think that we can use the the 
the word. We can use the word, okay. Well, yeah. Roxana, are you ca are you caught up with uh with the information? Are you can you oh. yeah? Yeah, we are ready, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um perfect. I will see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Okay, guys, so I think everybody's back. So we're going to start with uh, group number one, which is David, Ileana, and Roxana. You have all of our attention. Okay, so uh, the topic that we have to 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 search a little bit and and that we were talking about is related to the cyber attacks is uh, increased cost. We identify or we, I can say that we discuss a uh, five, uh, like five points or five ways of, of this, of this, this topic. The first one is the company lost money, lost customers, lost credibility, and lost its branding position. When we talk about costs, in, is, we are not talking just about, for example, money. Companies can lose money in very, very different ways. An example of that is, for example, if company lost their customers because they lost their credibility or their branding position, they are losing money. So uh, remember that that with the time, more organizations or or a lot of organizations or many organizations evolve and try to scale their business into a, a digital business model, for example. And uh, at the end, the organizations have to be more prepared for a cyber attacks uh, that's related to the second point that the company has to pay some more extra money for protecting for increasing security measures or hiring an expert or buying a different software or even for constructing a new website or a complete system for the company or training the people of the company at the end for example companies um, maybe they have a plan but Cyber attacks is something that sometimes we can we can see it just happened, and for for companies to protect the information, the customers, and the data, sometimes they have to 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 cover this part, training people, buying different and smarter softwares. So at the end. This increased the cost of the company. Um, the third and fourth point are going to be for Roxana. Yeah, well, the third point is uh, the company implement in present times 
cyber protection plans to implement measures to um, training people. It's important when you uh, are working in a different department, try to share important information with your team uh, about measures that they can uh, implement when maybe they're, they are in front of a cyber attack. For example, uh, if they receive uh, malicious information by email or a text message in, 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 in the cell, in the com cell, cell company, yeah, phone company. And it's important to try to uh, implement with the team or with uh, the company in general, different measures to work in improve your your uh, activities and the other is the companies need to have a backup system without connecting to the internet to avoid cyber attack that's uh, maybe is a little confused because you know uh, when uh, we are uh, working maybe in a big company uh, they always try to uh, create a backup auto automatically. The thing is that maybe when a hacker or when you receive a cyber attack, uh, they can get some important information and avoid that uh, activities. And that's why maybe uh, some companies need to uh, implement uh, backup without uh, connecting to internet to reduce that um, that uh, position. Uh, maybe at the end of the day or uh, twice in a day, they can um, maybe save uh, information with, uh, uh, with in a specific ser server and they can um, automatically give actualization about that information because uh, you can, maybe they can uh, create to backup. One that working automatically and the other that just uh, receive the information and save in a specific time in, in the day. The next is status. Okay. Uh... The last uh, aspect, the last uh, point is that uh, the uh, the insurance uh, increase the uh, additional costs and uh, insurance entity it needs to increase to give some protections if there is one because uh, some companies don't want to to risk uh, or to invest in that risk. But uh, the 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 really the really important loss in all of the cyber crime is information. Is the 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 really important cause the loss information and uh, the how to recover that information and for twenty twenty one it was expected that the uh, the damage, the damage cost for the global cyber crime is was about six trillion US dollars a year. Six trillion is more than the than the uh, the money that uh, El Salvador has in a in a whole year. And uh, 500 of oh, sorry, it's Spanglish. <laughs> Five hundred billions a month. Uh, in losing, in only only talking about information, how the important information is for the companies, uh, 115 billions a week, 16 billions a day, uh, 684 million an hour, even a second is uh, uh, 190 thousand dollars. A second is the losses predicted by 2021. 
at this time that the techniques of the cyber crimes is uh, increased, maybe the costs are, are, are bigger than that. And that is the, the most uh, uh, dangerous situation of the cyber crime. The, the total, total cost of the information that was lost or that was not used way, uh, in, a, in a good way for the hackers. And that's all teacher for us. Thank you. All right, thank you very much guys. Bravo, very, very good. Okay. All right, um, let's go on to the next group. Uh, the next group is um, group number two, uh, Ana Claudia and Francisco about Francisco Eduardo with operational disruption. Okay, Francisco. We cannot hear you. Do you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, uh, we find uh, the operational discretion uh, means. Sorry? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay. And, well, uh, we find that the means of operational diffusion is about when happen a deviation or interruption of normal activity from a, a company. As a result, is a, a loss of data, uh, or for example, uh, when the system uh, available uh, uh, when the system uh, is peer-reviewed or control system, uh, or uh, uh, there are uh, uh, an autobuses access, uh, or uh, the presence of malicious software, uh, mm -hmm. or critical information uh, in the technology system. Mm -hmm. So basically, is teacher like we were discussing with Francisco, and sorry that we don't have like a kind of presentation, but neither he or me we have programs <laughs> to make something like that in the computer. But what we understood is that that the is an interruption. Let's say it in that way, or for a normal process. For example, in Francisco's job, uh, if the server. A, got a, like a malicious program, not only him will be affected, it will be affected other departments and the service they provide won't be, will be interrupted. So a disruption is like a, a the unusual a, introduction of a program or something that is not part of it. So makes the system at all not work properly. Uh, the example that all we identify the most is when the system for the application in Banco Agricola was uh, interrupted. They say it was a maintenance, but everybody says was they were hacked because there are people they lost money. Uh, so in that case, multiple business wasn't able to, they weren't able to close because the people couldn't make payments or payment for secure for insurance for scholarship or stuff like that so when there is a operational disruption there are delays in situations also payments and affects a, a lot of things and and when a situation like this happens in the health system is uh, like a cows. So that is what we understood with Francisco. 
there isn't a new shock program. So for that reason, viruses, when they are into a system, malicious program, they affect the normal uh, process and how they work. That is what we understood. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, next. Um, the next group would be, by the way, Bravo. Excellent. Thank you very much. And the next group would be uh, al Altered Business Practices with Dora and Wendy. Dora, you can share. Okay. Uh, I understand the, uh, the concept that altered business practice uh, when the business uh, or companies uh, have a, a problem when, when they collect the information of customers for cyber attack. Uh, for example, is is when the for example the banks the banks uh, uh, they have uh, all information about the person, a birthday, uh, social security, all the person. But this uh, this information maybe can store. The, the in this case the companies must uh, uh, must uh, make a, a, a more security jurors jurors process that's it okay um that's it for your present okay uh -huh. I continue. Um, well, some companies uh, maybe sometimes have uh, shut down their online store because don't have a um, uh, adequate protect for cyber attack, and uh, they have they haven't to protect the information or data the the their your uh, customers. For example, uh, some companies no longer accept to transfer online or online uh, online payment for fear of the incorrect use their customer data or sell the data to the customer. Um, because if they do not have a secure way to guarantee online security, um, Sometimes uh, the customer prefer to buy in other 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 company other shop because uh, all we have a, a a a fear to cyber attack or when you or when, or other people uh, use the the data or information or personal information. Uh, for other other things, uh, the companies uh, need the they invest more money in the resource on the training or hearing training personnel to prevent to cyber attack in your companies because the customers don't like uh, feel fear. For example, uh, when I I use much, uh, many, many times the transfer or, or online payment. And when I can see the, the um, oh, I can uh, see the risk in the, in the site, I don't, I don't uh, buy. It's 
other person is maybe think similar for me, at me. And only that. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Very good, girls. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, the next group is um, group number four. Reputational damage, Jose Osmin, Jose Wilfredo, and Juan Miguel. I think you are watching my the, the, the screen, yeah? Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, so uh, this situation, reputable damage, it's, it affects directly to the, the, to the institution, yeah? No matter uh, what kind of institution could be, but in this case, we are talking about uh, the case uh, uh, from the last year about Banco Agricola that was related with uh, with the hacking. Um, yeah, maybe with the hacking of of their systems when they will have a man maintenance plan to to all the system yeah so uh, this is could be if not the worst could be one of the of the worst things because uh, as a person you have uh, or you are confident that in this case this institution can manage or could manage your money, yeah? But uh, at the end, uh, if you have your money and the system, the, the, the whole system or the entire system is not uh, secure at all, and if someone uh, finds a breach and enter to the system to do whatever they want, or whatever he or she wants, uh, and the case is known by people, uh, I don't know how to say this in, in English, uh, when the info is de boca en boca, yeah? No, de boca en boca. Sí, o sea, I, I, I don't know something. So, sorry? Word by mouth. Word by mouth. Ah, okay, okay. Word by mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> and obviously with the social media that helps to uh, spread the these kind of situations uh, quickly, uh, at the end, you are not so confident about the, uh, uh, about the, the institution, yeah? So at the end, uh, you can uh, you can choose or you can decide not to do not to trust in the institution, yeah. But uh, in the first point is related that uh, people believe that uh, the development team was not ca capable to manage the situation because. Uh, for people was announced that they will, they had a maintenance situation, yeah, in order to improve their systems, their security, the, their app, and something like this. But uh, the situation was so complicated that the maintenance could not be performed at the time, yeah. And it was extended by if I not if I'm not mistaken, like uh, five, four or five days, yeah, and uh, people people in forums 
uh, pe people who is related to to this kind of of topics uh, was tell what people was telling about uh, that the development the development team was not uh, ready uh, or maybe the pm project manager uh, he wasn't capable or capable to 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 do the situation or to lead the situation. So, uh, it was a very complicated situation to define in order to make uh, people trust them again. Yeah, uh -huh. and obviously, if you uh, like like uh, the the people, yeah. If you don't believe or if you don't trust to another people, you don't you don't go to this person, yeah, for anything, yeah. So the same was in this case with Banco Agricola. Um, uh, but I think uh Jose, we uh, he will talk about the second point, and the other Jose will talk about the 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 last point. Yeah. Okay, so for the reputational damage, people didn't feel secure with the money in the bank because of the hacking activity when uh, they tried to migrate their system. So as we know, uh, they launched an upgrade uh, for their application and that was the place where the bridge came up to the uh, uh what can what 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 can you say uh for the robber I guess who happened and also for the uh, thieves. as you know the thieves thieves stiff thief thieves thieves mm -hmm. okay so uh, also uh, as you know, uh, if we take that case, uh, some most of the time, some people are just followers of what other people do. And uh, for this case, maybe Banco Agricola could finish or could end in backtrack if, if they had not supported the user for one way to refund their money or even... Uh, um if they don't refund their money uh they open one too and uh, has to follow a, a lot of uh a long uh what a long a long cases with the fiscalia mm. we have I don't remember that word. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, I, let me just. I forgot the word, too. It's, it's in the tip of my tongue. Um, pros, prosecution? Pros, prosecutors. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Well, the La Fiscalia, yeah. Pros, uh -huh. Prosecution, yeah. Um, to to get their money back, so that is the the second point. Jose, you can continue. Sure. Uh, the last part, the the third point, is many people withdraw their money and take it to another one, to another bank, right? As uh, Jose Wilfredo, so was saying, so that actually the reputation. So it's really important, right, in order that people trust in their bank. Uh, actually, so with what movement so that they make, so like on the social media, so there are a lot of people posting the same information, right? It causes like uh, a lost revenue too. And also the reputation uh, was down uh, for the poor quality, it caused like a bad reputation and the damage too with the bridge, so that it caused like, uh, probably it can say so the, I can say the, like, the people that they that they handled it, so probably 
they was not like in a good condition to uh, follow up or like to make the process correctly. So any results like a, a bad reputation with the with the bank or uh, with the bank, right? So uh, as the the reputation damage so says as well it it can last like a financial a capital and social capital right with the marketing is resulting damage so with a first reputation um most of the time so it it can cause so that uh, the the trust of the people so like came down and also their money so will be safe in a different bank and they will last that money right and also the reputation and i think that is that's it teacher. okay excellent thank you very much round of applause excellent okay poor banco agricola everybody's using it. <laughs> everybody's um talking about them but it's it's a good case i mean yeah, everybody's familiar with it. Um, okay, so the next group is uh, Fernando Ernesto, Harvin, and Jose Marcos. Okay, teacher, uh, let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, guys, just remember that we need your cameras on because right now I only see half of the class, I think less than half of the class. Okay. So we talk about how can a cyber attack can lost revenue. So we uh, discuss about four ways of um, cyber attacking the trend. The first one is uh, when a business begins, uh, they need to invest a lot of in, in renting or development uh, server to host the application on the web page and service to do the transaction. For example, uh, um, receive money and, and deliver the product deliver the product and also they need security tool and if they suffer uh, an attack maybe they have to strengthen the security and the consequence is that they don't invest what is needed in other areas instead they pay more for security um uh, to external providers or they develop more the security in their infrastructure and in disregard and they disregard some process that need to be improved. The second is the, for example, the stream platform or pay TV lost money when their information is stolen and the pirate page broadcast their content. Uh, those web pages air money in a hard way because the legal company uh, is not earning money so they don't have time because this this client prefer to sound up a pirate app or enter on a pirate web page and and get that content for free instead by paying for the subscription in the legal company um the third one will help me my Fernando. Okay. Uh, when a company, uh, when you, the service of the company is maybe uh, an e-commerce, for example, uh, a cyber attacks uh, makes uh, unavailable to access to your, maybe your equipment like servers, uh, computers, the, all the devices because they attack all your entire network. So in that in that case, for example, in e-commerce is a, a big impact because uh, if you want to buy an, a product, it, maybe your e-commerce is very known, 
and if it is down, they the customers uh, needs to to go in on to to get the product that they want. So they maybe are looking for for another business, and you are losing clients, and all the time that your service is down, for example. And in in all, in all, because uh, in e-commerce, uh, usually you maybe uh, save your credit card number or your your bill your bill address uh, or your data your data that they can use for store money to the client. So the companies uh, has to respond to the customer because the if they maybe uh, lost money because the, the the cyber attack, for example, they are uh, vulnerable. Uh, vulnerable because the customers uh, will, uh, is going to put a lawsuit to uh, about uh, for recovering your your money. Uh, a, lo a lot of companies uh, in the past received cyber attacks and they lost millions of. A dollar or thousands, a dollar depend of the or the big or the the size of the company. Uh, sometimes they like uh, the the baby group said pay a lot of money in insurance, but uh, the the smart companies uh, they don't don't they can uh, pay for insurance. So maybe that is the they have a big impact when they receive a cyber attack. Okay, very good. Is that it? Yeah, that's all. Okay, that's all. Very good, everybody. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, let's go continue with the next group. Um, which would be actually the last group. Um, Fernando Barbie and Roxana William. Sure, that uh, was that my group last one about intellectual property theft. Uh, stolen intellectual property. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Is that there was only Fernando and me in the group, but maybe I will start. Um, Fernando. Fernando Ernesto, are you there? I oh, know, sorry, Fernando Marvin is, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Fernando Marvin, in order to fail. But he was working with you. Yeah. Huh. It's okay, teacher. I'll try to explain. Okay. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Well, okay. first of all, the definition is uh, intellectual property theft or IP theft is the appropriation of unique ideas, inventions, or other information by parties without permission to borrow it or reuse it. Two examples of, of this can be when, when an individual knowing copies the logo of a company and uses it to, to sell their own items or their own products, right? Another example can be for, um, when an employee uh, steals the, the recipe of, a, of a, any kind of food and keeps it to himself to to sell their own product. And why do people steal intellectual property? This is because it is too easy. It's, it's really quick and they don't have to be thinking too much and it's very profitable. And the ways um, of intellectual property theft are 
are various really, including keylogger, spear phishing, cross-site scripting and password spraying. And uh, can you go to jail for copyright using creative works such as logo, photo, image, or text without permission can infringe copyright law. All business need to understand how to legally use copyright material because you can face um, large and fines, even imprisonment. You can go to, to jail if you do it. Is intellectual property a crime? The access, distribution, and an intellectual pro property without or beyond initial authorization and in violation of the rights of the owner, the intellectual property is considered an intellectual property crime. So this is a very serious topic, teacher. And all the companies and all the persons have to be respectful of other people's ideas. Yeah. Because Absolutely. it has consequences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very serious consequences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, round of applause. And thank you very much for presenting. Um, although your the rest of your group was not here. And <laughs> in fact, you were added to the, the group. Um, so you're you were new to the group. So I I thank you even more because of that. Okay. All right. So we have finished. Uh what have you guys um do you have any questions? Any um about the information that has been presented? Any problems or anything that is not clear? Just uh, a reminder, guys, I need your cameras on because I see that like pretty much almost like just half of the class has it on. The other half is, I don't know where they are. <laughs> so I, I can't see William Alexander. I can't see Jose Marcos, Jose Osmin, Juan Miguel, Wendy, Francisco Eduardo, Roxana, Roberto. Uh, so are you there? I don't know if you are there or not. Yes, yes, it's your here. Okay. Um, are you able to turn on the camera? Sure. Okay, thank you. Wonderful. All right, Jose. Eh. Okay. Sorry, teacher, I didn't know right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. No, no problem. But, um, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we are going to continue. Um, I didn't want to interrupt. So I just took notes of some words, especially specifically like pronunciation problems that we were having. So let me share with you some of the vocabulary that um, I noticed. Maybe. Okay. Thank you, Juan Miguel. Um, okay. So uh, the first word, confusing, confusing. And valga la redundancia, don't confuse, confusing with confused. What's the difference between confusing and confused?
confusing sounds like an idea that is not clear. Mm -hmm. And confused is when you don't understand clearly something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So when we use an ING, um, after a, you know, um, a, a verb to make it an adjective, that means that that is the thing that provokes the feeling. So it, something is confusing because it makes me feel confused, right? So it, it provokes that feeling. Okay, so if you say um, confusing, tiring, um, exciting, eh, et cetera, et cetera, anything that finishes an ING means that it's causing that feeling. Okay, and when we, when we add ED to the end of verb to make it an adjective, like confused, it means that it's the person that has that feeling, okay? All right, so confusing and confused. You can't say that the, the ING is uh, the cause and the, the other is the effect, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we can say that, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, next word a word that we were using a lot and I heard it's uh, being pronounced cyber, but it's cyber. Cyber. Okay. All right. Any questions about that pronunciation? Okay. How do you pronounce this word? Disruption. Disruption. Mm -hmm. Very good, disruption. Remember what I always tell you about that you, that normally that you in English would pronounce it as? How do you pronounce yeah. the, the you normally in English? Like an uh, disruption. disruption. Ah, right, it sounds like a uh. Ah. So you should say disrupt. Ra, ah, disruption, right? Just like production, right? Okay, disruption. Okay, so it's not disruption, it's disruption. Okay. Um, something is stolen. Okay. So the the past participle of steal is stolen. It's not stealed. Okay, it's stolen. All right. So it has been stolen or it is stolen. Past participle is yeah, that's the past participle, exactly. Okay, so don't say um uh stole stole. No, it's it's stolen. Okay. Any questions about that? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right. Um, the next word I have is um let's see uh, uh okay, so how do you pronounce this word? Security. security yeah security security now there we don't apply that rule of the you right so that's one of those those um that's one of the the words that it's like the 20 like let's say that that's like the 25 percent of the words right you don't say that it's not pronounced like uh so it's security, security. But it's not security. Security, no, security. 
Okay. Um, all right. This word, I know that it's sometimes it's a little bit difficult to remember, but it's not data. It's not data. How do you pronounce it? Data. 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 Yeah. Not data, but data. Okay. So always remember that. Um, Okay. Maintenance. Yeah. Maintenance. 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 Yeah. Um kind of. It's close, very, very close. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. So there's that little skip there. You have mitten maintenance. Okay. So it's not maintenance. Maintenance, no. It's maintenance. So it's it's actually maintenance. Maintenance. So it's like three syllables. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Or if you want, that's like the like the American way. But if you want to do it like the British way, it would be maintenance. 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 Nuts. Yeah. Nuts. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. But if not, you would say if it's American, it would be maintenance. Maintenance. Okay. Um See, what was the other word? Oh, okay. So this word here, um, we've been talking about this word quite a bit. Rich. Rich. Yeah. Be careful not to confuse it with this word. Okay. What's the difference between those two words? The like the meaning? No, no, no. The pronunciation. The letter D is bridge. like a strong bridge and bridge. Yeah, exactly. So actually, um, it's it's more about the the vowel sound. Okay. So the first one is breach, re e e. It's a long e, breach. And the other one is bridge. Bridge. So bree. Try to open up your mouth. Bree. E -e 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 -e. Reach. And the other one is bridge. Bridge. Also, yes, the ending is different. So the first one is the ch sound. The other one is the j sound. Okay, so it's reach and bridge. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, all right. Remember that after um, a model auxiliaries, we have to use the the original verb. So no change in the verb. So we cannot say can lost. We have to say can. So can lost is incorrect. We have to say can. Lose. Lose. Can lose. Okay. Got it. So anything that has a model auxiliary, so can, could, may, might, will, would, um, shall, sha, um, shan't, um, may, might, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All of those, we use the verb in the original form. Okay. 
no change to it, no, no, the past, none of the past. Okay. Mm. Ah, and the last one is this word. How do we pronounce this word? Profitable. Profitable. Yeah, the stress is on the first syllable, so it's profitable. Profitable. Okay. Profitable. So on the first on the first syllable. Okay. Any questions? No. Did I a war? In the in the in the in the war in the I don't know <laughs> what is happening in the picture that you sent us for do the this this uh, the search uh, we have increased cause of professional disruption. Alternative business practices and the number four. How do you say the first word? Are you talking about the um the Six topics? ways cyber crime impacts business? The, the, the topic the number four, yes. Okay. Uh oh, reputational. Sorry? Reputational. Ah, okay, that was reputational. This is the other sound of the U. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the other sound. Because we are using ah ah. This yeah. time is you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I. That's why I always tell you guys that it's like basically like a seventy percent um of the time, 65 70 percent of the time, it's gonna sound like uh, but yes. but the rest of the times it has different sounds, right? So one of those sounds is uh, rep, pew, you, you. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. So it sounds like pew, pew, pew. reputational. Reputational. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? No. No, it's okay. All right. In that case, um, let's continue. Um, okay. So I'm going to... Um, share. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher, we can see it. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, so. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay. All right. So today we're going to be talking about the apostrophe. Okay. The apostrophes. Now, the apostrophe. Um, is uh the or the apostrophe mark is a um well it says here is it's uh used for different reasons and one of those reasons is for a grammatical function of the ownership okay um so this we use it to show that there is 
an ownership to something. You guys understand what an ownership means? Usage. Can you give me a synonym for ownership? Is a property. Mm -hmm. You have the owner of some property. Mm -hmm. Property or, or possession. Something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Ownership um, or property or possession. Okay. All right. So when we want to show a possession, we can use in English the, an apostrophe. Okay. Um, now, um, it, so for example, the form of the uh, to form a possessive, uh, two elements are required. Um, those elements are one, the possessor, and yeah, the poss uh, the possessor. So the someone, in other words, right, um, and the something. Okay, we also need the something. Actually, let me change that color. The something, okay, uh, which can also be some quality that is possessed. Okay, so those are the two elements that we're going to be needing to show this uh, possession. Okay, so um, to form the possessive of a singular possessor, add an apostrophe and an S to it, okay? So I think this is quite straightforward. We've we've um, gotten used to doing this since like, you know, probably a, a level one or two. Okay, I think probably one, right? So we have, for example, the expert's opinion is that no organization will be able to survive a massive cyber attack. So here, the reason why we have an, uh, a, a, what's it called? Um, a possess, uh, an apostrophe is because we have the two elements. One is the, um, the possessor and that possessor is the expert. Okay. And we have the opinion, the opinion, the, the thing that is possessed. Okay, so we have here the expert is a possessor and the opinion is the thing that is possessed. So to show that there is a relationship between those two things, right? That, that the thing that is being possessed is the ownership of this here, we put an apostrophe S. Is that pretty simple? I think so, right? Pretty straightforward. Yes, no? Please tell me guys so I can continue or... Yeah, you see that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this is this is pretty um pretty basic things because I'm saying that it's basic because it's something that you guys have gotten used to from the very beginning, right? Okay. Now that is uh for a singular possessor. Okay. This only happens for a singular possessor. But what happens when we have a plural noun that ends in an S? Plural noun that ends in an S. The only thing we have to do in that case, it's very simple. We just have to add an apostrophe. In that case, 
because it ends in an S, we don't need another S. Okay. So here we need to add an S, right? But here, because it already ends in an S, we're only going to add an apostrophe. Okay, example. Thousands of you of users' accounts were hacked from the um, Yahoo server. So we have the 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 possessor. Sorry. We have the possessors, which um, in this case is the users. And we have the thing that is possessed, which is the accounts. So we know that there's a relationship between the accounts and the users. But, oops. <laughs> But the difference is that in this case, the users is plural, okay? So because users is plural and it already finishes in an S, then in that case, we are only going to put an apostrophe. That's it, no S, because we already have an S. So what we can't do, in other words, what we can't do is do this. Um, so the word da, 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 finishes an S, and then we have the possessive, it, and then another S. That we can't do. Okay, so that's why we just simply eliminate the S, and we just put a possessive. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, if the plural noun does not in an S, um, create the possessive by adding an apostrophe and an S. Okay. So let's say, okay, so we for accounts, uh, oh, sorry, um, user. User, we can make a possessive right, with an S, right? So users, right? So use a user is one, plural users. We have an S. But there are, you know that there are irregular verbs that do not end in S, right? Where it's like woman, children, men, um, um, mice. Um, well, um oh, there's many. Anyways, the thing is that because we don't finish the, it, it, because it's a possessive, but it doesn't finish an S, in that case, we will have to use an S at the end. Okay, so what we do. Yeah, it's okay. So what we do is we add, we have the, the apostrophe and we do have to add an S, okay? So for example, women's social network accounts are more preferable targets for hackers than men's, okay? So in that case, we have the word, the possessor is, Woman, so women, sorry. That's a possessor. And uh, so that's a possessor, sorry. And um, the thing that is possessed is the social networks. Now, wom women are plural, but, uh, but um, we don't add an S to that word to make it plural. So that's the reason why in this case, we will add an apostrophe and an S. Okay? 
the same thing with men. Men is plural, but it doesn't finish in an, in an S. So here we're going to put apostrophe S. Now, uh, when why do we put an apostrophe S if there's no um, thing that is possessed here? If you notice, this part right here is blank. There's nothing after it. So why? So what? What is the? What is the thing that is possessed? Is this saying that the women's is social network accounts? Exactly. Social yeah. Network accounts in the first case, in the men's is always referred to that that same thing: social mm -hmm. network accounts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's it's um the same. And so that way, that's the reason why we don't repeat it, because you guys know that um, in English, we don't like to be repeating things. Um, if we already said it once, we don't want to be repeating it. So that's why it's not necessary to add the social networks, but it's the same, okay? We already mentioned it once, so we don't need to mention it again, okay? Now, this is something that we got to be careful with, this last point here. I think this is the part that is probably a little more complex, let's say, um, is when two nouns share ownership. So we have two different nouns and they have the same ownership. Use the possessive form for the last name only. Okay, for example, CEO, Sorry, let me, let me, this. Do, do now share ownership. Use the possessive only for last name. Okay, so to give you an example, we have the CEO chaplain and CIO's jargon's decision was to, fi to fire the data security manager after the result of the investigation. Okay, so here we have two possess possessors. What are the two possessors? Jacqueline and jargon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but not just Japlin and jargon. It's CEO Chaplin and the CEO, the CIO of Jargon. Okay, so those are the two possessors. Now, what is the thing that's being possessed? What are they possessing? The sin is decision. The result of mm -hmm. the decision. Exactly. It's the, the decision. That's the thing that's being possessed. So the decision belongs to jargon, to the CEO of jargon, and to the CEO, CEO of Chaplin. Do you see that? So there are two companies, but they share the same decision. Okay. However, even though there are two companies, only one of them uses the apostrophe S. And the one that's going to be used is the one, the last one. So you don't say CEO Chaplin's and CIO Jargon's decision. No, we don't say that. We just use at the end. So if 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 we have two nouns that are possessors and they share the same thing that is being possessed, then we're only going to put the apostrophe S at the end of the last one. Okay. Now what happens when they have 
individual ownership. So that means that there are two nouns, but each one has an individual ownership. Okay, then we have to use the possessive for both nouns. Okay, like in this case, um, CEO Jacklin's and CIO Jargon's decisions were not unanimous about firing the data security manager. Why? Well, because here we have two possessors. What are the possessors? Here we have, oops, sorry. The stations. So, yeah, no, yeah. So, so, so then Jacqueline's and CIO jargon. Uh, and what is the thing that's being possessed? Decision, different yes. decisions. Yes, exactly. Decisions, plural, right? That means that each one of them had a different decision. So, see, the CEO of Jacqueline had one decision, and the CIO. Uh, Jargon had another uh, decision. So they possess different decisions. Because they possess different decisions, we're going to be using an apostrophe S for both. Does that make sense? Yes, it sure. Yeah. Any questions, guys? No question. No, you sure? Okay. All right. In that case, what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the um, do the exercises for that activity until tomorrow. Okay, so for the time being, we're going to finish our class right now, and I'm going to be taking attendance. Okay, so just a reminder, guys, I need your cameras on for the attendance. Everybody's cameras is on just for the we need for the attendance, guys. Okay, so here we go. Second, guys. Okay, um, Ana Claudia, present teacher. All right, excellent. David? Present teacher. Excellent. Dora? Present. Excellent. Um, Fernando Ernesto? Present. Okay. Fernando Marvin? Fernando Marvin? Francisco Eduardo? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Santa. Indiana? Present teacher. And Santa Harvin? Harvin? No, right? Harvin's not here. Okay. Um, Jose Marcos? Present. Wonderful, thank you. Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Juan Miguel. Juan 
Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel está ahí. Uh, Ramón Enrique. Ramón Enrique. Uh, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. No. Uh, Roxana Ibet. Roxana Ibet. Roxana. Roxana. Eh, William Alexander. Present. Okay. Suleyma Ivonne. Suleyma Ivonne. Wendy Patricia. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. Um, just wanted to mention or remind you, better said, that tomorrow you have the um, the deadline for unit three. Okay. Um, so I need you guys to finish unit three. And ideally, you should also be working in the final exam so that uh, you don't you're not doing it last minute, okay? So just a reminder about that, okay? Um, other than that, I will see you guys um, tomorrow, okay? So have a good a good weekend. Oh, sorry, a, a good a good Ooh, evening. Right. <laughs> okay, see you Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. See you. Good night. Miguel, are you there? Juan Miguel? Roxana? Roxana, Miguel? Juan Miguel? <laughs>